guys welcome back to my channel so as it is coming up to September it's coming up to starting uni again so I thought I'd do you guys really honest first and second review of my years at uni I am going into third year and so I thought I'll share with you all my experiences so <laughs> let's get into it oh if you can hear that weird noise, it is my fan going on in the background because it is 33 degrees and it's probably about 50 in my room, so it's whew, pretty damn hot. I think starting any sort of education like college or university in general, it is really nerve-wracking on your first day or your introduction day or whatever. It is really nerve-wracking because obviously you go in there and you just don't know anybody and you don't know what to expect. It's all completely new. I think it does make things a little bit easier if you do have a friend that's going with you or, you know, is going to the same college or university as you, as you do have that support there and you, you do know somebody. But a lot of people who go to university don't always have that. It's normally just them come on their own. Well, that's what I found anyway. A lot of people just came on their own, a lot of international students. And so on my first day, I just had no idea what to expect. And obviously if it's a big university, a big campus, you can get lost so easily and you're scared of being late and setting a bad impression of yourself on the first day. And so I was the person that turned up like two hours early just so I could be on time. The problem with me is that I always get lost. I think another thing is, is that the jump from college to university is just completely different. When I was at college, I found that, you know, a lot of people were still young-minded and there was just a lot of unnecessarily things going on with everybody and just a lot of drama from time to time. And looking back on it as I have started uni now, uni is just it's a lot more grown up because you are that bit older i feel like because you chose to go to that university and you chose to do your course and everything else it's what you chose to do the people that go there enjoy it a lot more a lot of people actually want to be there i must say that going into university as i did start college a little later and i did change courses a few times at college i did start university quite older a few years older than you know the 18 year old people that were starting and so i did feel really old being there i know i kind of felt quite out of place because obviously when you go in there and you're older and the other people there are younger you do feel slightly out of place but then again I did meet a lot of adults and you know similar people to my age about 20 because I went there when I was 21 I think I was 21 or I was 19 I don't know but I was slightly older than the rest and so that was <laughs> probably another thing but you know if you're you've, you've done college at the right age and you know you've gone to university at 18 then you know a lot of people are like that and I found that with the first year obviously you've got freshers and you've got the freshers week I'm not really someone that goes out clubbing and partying I did try going for a few nights and it just it just wasn't my thing you know I I enjoy fitness and working out and staying healthy and so going clubbing like every other night doesn't really fit into my lifestyle I'm doing sport management so I did find that a lot of people from my course used to, something that I obviously expected, but they used to come in like completely wasted still. And just all they talked about was their night out, going clubbing and just how much money they spend and <laughs> how much alcohol they drank. That's good if you, that's what you enjoy. And you'll probably have a very good time if you do enjoy going clubbing for Freshers Week and everything else. It's all fun and games and whatever but for me that wasn't really my thing as i was a little bit older i did find that a lot of people did just come to university to go partying that's what a lot of people think university is about it's just completely chilled you don't do much all you do is party all night 
Yes, that might be the case for the first year as the first year doesn't count. So people just normally like completely slag it all off. But that's what a lot of people did come for. And so when I did go into the second year, I did find that a lot of people dropped out of my course because they actually realize that they are there to work, not just party. So I'm doing a sports course. It's definitely more male dominated. So there's about four girls, yeah, including me out of about 25 boys and it was definitely like that at college as well it's a sports course is just normally male dominated but obviously everyone gets on well because everyone is that little bit more mature than college everybody does get on really well and I think that as the, my sport management course at St. Mary's, the year that I started was the first year that the course actually started as well. So it was quite a small group, which, which was nice because everyone was together and everyone got on and worked really well together. So for my first year, before I actually started university, I did decide to go into a private accommodation. <laughs> So not into halls because I did know that a lot of people wanted to go clubbing and everything else and drink a lot on the first year and because I'm not really into that as such I didn't really want to get involved with all of that and to be around it and so I knew it was going to be really noisy in the halls and so I did just settle for a little studio flat, a private student accommodation with my own little kitchen which I absolutely love. So moving on from the first year, overall from the first and second year I did find that the first year for me was actually a lot harder than the second. <laughs> a lot of people who did go to university before me or was in the years above me did say that they, you know, because the first year doesn't count, they did find it a lot easier just completely in general than the second year. But for me, because it is quite a big jump academically from college to the first year at university, I found it quite difficult to get a gist of everything and the higher level of work and just, you know, writing essays. We don't normally do writing essays at school. You know, you know, you have your exams and you have your coursework. I did a BTEC sports science, so it was a lot of coursework, but never essays and universities have a specific way of writing academic work and everything so I did think that it took take a while to get a hold of that. Also in the first, first year it was all about finance and for me that's one of my weakest points. I just don't like finance so that's probably why I struggled more than the second. Everything that I'm saying to you guys now can just completely differ between everybody. Everybody finds things different and so I'm just completely going off of my experiences at my university because you know different universities can be very different. Going into the second year as you had experienced first year you know what it's about, you know your way around campuses and you know you've made a group of friends now. Second year does get a lot easier. The thing about university is that you do get such like a large chunk of proportion time off, like weeks at a time of just no work at all. And as soon as you go back to university, they literally throw so many essays at you and you just think, I've just had all of this time off. Like why couldn't you just spread it out rather than making it super stressful when it doesn't need to be and just cram everything all of your essays and your presentations all into a few weeks. That's one thing that I just never understood. Of course, this completely differs compared to universities as well, but at my university, I've only had to go in maximum two and a half days a week. Maximum. And you pay nine and a half grand almost, or maybe a little bit more per year, and you only go in for a few lectures. For a few hours and I just completely don't understand that. Of course it's happy that we don't have to go in and whatever but I just never understood why we pay so much money to go to university only to you know actually be taught for a few hours per week. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> so as it is coming up to my third year each year that you have at university you just 
don't know quite what to expect because things might change, things might stay the same, so you're not quite sure. And so going into third year, I am slightly nervous because it is the big year, it's the final, the finale, whatever you want to call it, it's the end game. <laughs> and so it's nerve wracking. It is very nerve wracking, but you know, it's just gone so fast. It's gone unbelievably fast. As soon as you finish college, you're thinking, my God, I've got another three years of education. And trust me, the first year is fun, you know, games, you go out partying. Second year, you know, you're thinking, oh, I've only got one more, one and a half years left, and that's it. So it goes so quickly, guys. So just make the most of it. Just completely make the most of it. Enjoy yourself. But also, if you are going to there to party, you might be a little bit disappointed because you do have to work as well, guys. But yeah, everything that I'm saying to you is my experiences about being at university. I am into my fitness, so I'm not too much of a clubber. But yes, this is all my opinions about my studies at my university. So whatever university you go to and you as a person, it's going to be completely different. But just giving you my experiences. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you in my next vlog.